Well, all right, all right, all right. We're back for another player lock. Manny Ramirez. Hope you guys are ready. <laughs> all right. So we got Pedro Martinez on the mound for us today, which is going to be awesome. There's this extremely buff Manny Ramirez. I'm not sure from what era this was. I guess this is the uh, steroid era. But he was never that buff. But real quick, before we get into it, let's look at his uh, player card again. See the stats there? Really good contact hitter. Extremely good power hitter. Like the batting numbers are they're there. So, and the thing I enjoy the about to make it happen. Is the Come on, Manny. Oh, good hit. Good hit. Look at this man run. Look how he runs. Oh, my gosh. All right. But we on base, though. We on base. You know what MLB, the show, needs to implement in the game? Kind of like what uh, NBA 2K does. And if they do this in the game, it doesn't really show very well. They need to implement a personality uh, factor. Like, if you have a player like, say, like, um, what's old boy's name? Uh, Yasiel Puig. You have a player like him that's extremely emotional and gets, like, gets fired up really easily. Let his player model show that. Give him more gestures with his mouth where he's saying stuff or where he's just really like giving like these really animated movements. Then you have people that are more reserved and laid back. You give them that type of personality uh, behavior. But they need to do more. Because like there are animations in this game. But the animations fall flat when the face is just like a dead blank stare like if you don't really put a lot of facial animation with these like limb reactions to the body and stuff it kind of falls flat it doesn't really feel like organic so that's one thing you really need to work on is player personality okay and there's our I think the kid's about to go outside okay wait Walk us around. Walk us around. We got runners on uh, bases loaded now. All right. But yeah, if you guys agree, they need to put like a personality uh, trade in here and have players act a little more realistically as we're going to try to see if Manny can uh, steal home. We know he's... No, I'm not trying that. I'm not trying that. Ain't no way. Ain't no way he would have made home on, <laughs> on that right there. So... Yeah, there's a lot of things that uh, they can really do. Because, I mean, really, this game is, is a victim of its own success. Like, it's not too much more they can do in terms of, like, to make the game just, like, go wow. Other than when next gen hits, like, really upgrade the graphics to be, uh, have a little more realistic look to them. A more lifelike appeal. Um, you know, string animations together a little bit better because sometimes like when you're running the first base you can see when the animation starts to stitch like right before you get the first base maybe like two steps before you get the first base the animation you can see how they stitch and your player has like a, a little moment where he kind of glides before the next stage of the base animation kicks in where he actually touches first base and it kind of feels it feels a bit weird um, obviously you know the the really heavy sims community wants a franchise they want more franchise uh you know love to be shown they really need to revamp roll to the show like every year it's like they add little bits and tweaks but it's like the the core experience it's not dynamic enough. The core experience is just like for people who start a new character every year on Road to the Show and have to play the same scenario. There we go. There we go. Get out of here, ball. Oof. I think he. I think he did how exactly Manny's um, home run celebration too. Like when he hits the ball, and you know it's going out. Holds his hands up. That's what I'm talking about. Like the video for that home run by Manny Ramirez. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that little notification bell. Appreciate that. And there's David Ortiz going up to bat. Let's see another look at that again. Amazing home run there. Certainly worthy of the show track look at that. And as you can see, 114 I mean, he got some lift on that, too. That should give you a pretty good indication as to how well he connected on that swing. 114 exit velocity. 446 projected distance. 
All right, we're back in this thing. Two for two. Okay, Manny. He's doing his thing. He's doing his thing. All right, here we go. Two outs, of course. So Boston's up by three. Bottom of the fifth. No, sir. No, sir. You got to get that ball up you if you want to come after me. All right. Okay. All right, Soto. Still, uh, you still in there battling? The 2-1. Oh, no, no, no. That's an ugly pitch. That's an ugly pitch. Why did I swing at that? That would have been a 3-1 count right now. Now it's 2-2. Two, two. Look at that. What is going through my mind right now? Manny. Mm. I was early on that. Man, I tell you, man, sometimes it doesn't feel like I'm early. And that's just very early. Like, okay. From the belt, the pitch. And another foul ball. I just gotta get the timing down, man. It keeps saying very early. I don't know. Kind of disagree. But I just gotta adjust. Lifts it into the air to Come on, drop, 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 drop. It's not gonna drop. And he'll get there in <laughs> but into his glove. Take those Pete rolls. That yep, this rolls. All right, bottom of the eighth. We're still holding that lead, so that's that's good. Two for three, home run and a single. All right, so let's be a little smarter at the plate this time. Got to run it on first. All right, we got a new pitcher in. Not sure who that is, though. Pull the fastball down. Right, one, one. Too much there. That's ball one. Come on, let's go. Just behind mm, the That was my pitch right there. there. Two strikes now. That was my pitch. That was some smoke right there. High okay. fire right on by. One two count. That four seam one, was doing two. work for him. Misses for the second ball. Alright, two two. He's got to keep it a little bit closer to the strike zone now. Three balls and okay. two strikes to the DH. Well, he didn't want to play. Sox. He didn't want to play nice. Now he got himself in a full count. Seven hits and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. That four seamer. There we go. Two home runs in one game. Yes. Oh, he hit that out of the stadium. He hit that out of Fenway Park. Manny Ramirez with his second home run of the game. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Because I sure am. Let's see this again. Bam. Almost identical to his first one. Just two mile per hour less as far as X velocity goes. But he got it out of there, though. Projected distance pretty close to the last one. Awesome. There we have it. Game is over. We take the win. Manny Ramirez with two home runs in this game. Let's see what else. I think he also he started the game out with a really hard hit single right between uh, right center. Had a really good game overall. So, you know, hope you guys enjoyed this Legends player lock. I told you I'm going to be giving you guys a top prospect, a current player, and a legend player lock. I'm going to kind of just, you know, figure out a good pace throughout the week of giving you that content. But, again, I hope you enjoyed it. And let's uh, just take another quick look at uh, Manny Ramirez. Manny Ramirez, three for four, two home runs, three RBI, scored three runs. Awesome. Awesome. Let's take a look at the replay vault real quick. Get a couple highlights here. Rare tech grounded to right for a single, scored two RBI. I think that's the first time that uh, Manny scored. And then 447, that's the first home run. 
Did you see that grit on his face? Says the type leader. of emotion I'm talking about. It needs to do more of that. We'd like to thank and that was the in the Red bottom Sox of the third. For their continuing support. And then and another one. Drive home bottom of the place. eighth. Just jack that one out over the green monster. Yet again, Manny Ramirez never ceases to entertain. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I upload videos like this all the time. Roll to the show, March to October, live streams, player lots of what my specialties are. Uh, do you know current players, legends, and top prospects? Not many people are doing those on YouTube. I take requests, so uh, you know, make if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe down below, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video of mine again. You get those alerts on your phone, your desktop, your your laptop, wherever. And until the next one, I'm Mr. Lux, aka the Merry Gamer, and I'm out. Peace.